Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today hopefully we'll have a shorter video. I think I, I mentioned a while ago my goal is to have a lot of five minute videos here on YouTube where there's sort of bite size uh, little ideas from finance that are hopefully helpful to students or people who are interested in derivatives. And um, unfortunately the last few videos have been reasonably long. They've been sort of 15 minute videos. And that's, that's just related to the fact that uh, it's sometimes hard to break them up into smaller pieces if all of the ideas really belong together. But today's video is hopefully gonna be a nice short one. And what we're gonna learn about is the term structure of volatility and about the volatility surface and what it means. So. Um, the term structure of volatility is just essentially that over different maturities, options will have different implied volatilities. Now, we just did one on the volatility smile, which was about different uh, strike prices of options. So this is different expiration dates. So if there's a, you know, a one month, a three month, a six month, a nine month option available on a given underlying, we're going to find that each of those options has a different implied volatility. Now, that, isn't, uh, that, that doesn't relate to a flaw in the Black-Scholes model uh, like our, our prior example of the smile. Um, it's actually just something that, that you should naturally expect. And there's lots of reasons that, uh, that options that expire at different dates would be expected to have different implied volatilities. And the most obvious reason is just that different things can happen over different periods. So we'll say, for example, if you had one option that was expiring, uh, right before an earnings announcement date and another one that was expiring right after that date, you'd expect the one that incorporated that additional information to, to cost more. There's greater volatility, right? So for, for an, an earnings announcement day, that's usually a volatile day for a particular stock. And so if you owned an option that uh, expired after that event, you'd expect to have more volatility, more realized volatility occurring during the life of that option. So basically when we line up all of our options, so options with the same strike price, the same underlying but different expirations, we'll find uh, a bunch of different implied volatilities and we can plot that and we the plot of that is referred to as the term structure of volatility. And it's a bit like if you've studied fixed income, there's the term structure of interest rates. And so the term structure of volatility is a very similar idea to that. And it's just the relationship between implied volatilities and time to expiration. So I'll put up on screen right now an image of a volatility surface. I actually just grabbed this image from Wikipedia because it's a you know pretty decent illustration. Um, and what we're seeing here with the volatility surface is a combination of that term structure of volatility that I just explained, which is the the different volatilities for different expirations and the volatility smile, um, which I linked to the video I did on that. It went up yesterday. And the volatility smile is different volatilities for different strikes of options on the same underlying. So when we combine all of those together, we're essentially plotting every option that's available on a given underlying. So all of the different strikes and expirations of options, we can plot them all and we get to see that different options have different implied volatilities and uh, we're, we're essentially able to use that, uh, that volatility surface to decide which options we may or may not want to trade. Now, there's a few useful things about the volatility surface. Uh, one thing is that you can actually almost back out that there's, there's big news coming about a given underlying because of bumps that you might see in the volatility surface. So for example, if you saw really high volatility for certain dates, uh, that, that might mean that there's just a big news event that, that's likely to occur. And actually you can almost just look at the volatility surface, see that the market expects uh, you know, a certain amount of, of volatility at a given point in time. And you, you can then go and dig through the news on that stock and actually see what it is, you know. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing that you're able to, to do that. So that is the volatility surface. Um, that's really all we have to say on that topic. Um, if you tune in tomorrow, we'll, we'll start a new series, uh, which will be on real options, which is applying 
using what we've learned about options pricing to uh, to trying to uh, price other uh, other uh, things in finance that that there aren't actually options based upon. So anyhow, tune in tomorrow. Have a great day. Hit the like button. Do subscribe if you'd like to see more. And if you're interested in the book that all of this is based upon, it's called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And I've been told that it's probably the best book on financial derivatives out there. Thanks, Mom, for saying that. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.